who will opt for a dry cake when there is a moist cake? <laughs> for me, moist cake all day, all night, all week, all month. In fact, all year. <laughs> What is dry cake? I beg, give me more ice cake. Why? So I had a friend who never eats her birthday cake or any cake at all unless it's a dry cake. So I actually got to know about this cake because of her. So the whole idea for this cake is to reduce the moisture in the cake. So if this is the type of video you would love to watch, then stay tuned and let's start preparing it. Let me show you how it's made, guys. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. You're welcome to my channel. Let's get it done. Okay, so you have to beat your sugar and butter until the sugar melts and until it's fluffy. So from there, you can start adding your eggs. You add it gradually, okay? Don't add everything at once. You add one egg, then you mix it. We are going to use three eggs, actually. So you add one egg, you mix it until everything is well mixed. So you add the eggs one by one and mix it. That way, you'll be able to mix it very well because you don't want your cake to be smelling of egg and all that. So when you add it one by one, you whisk it until it's fluffy. Then you add the next one just like that, okay? So after adding the eggs, we are just going to add the other ingredients. Remember, this recipe, we are not adding milk because we are trying as much as possible to get rid of moisture, right? Yes, yeah, so we are not going to add milk, but then we cannot omit egg. Egg is a necessity in cake, so that's why. Yeah, so it's just a plain cake, but trust me, it is delicious, okay? Guys, don't worry. I'm going to leave the measurements in the description, okay? So you guys can check it out and try it and let me know whether you enjoyed it or not. Whenever I'm making a cake, I love to sieve my flour because it helps it to mix in well with the other ingredients, okay? Yes, and also guys, if you notice, I'm not doing a lot of cake because I told you, I prefer moist cake to this. Even though I prefer moist cake, I think this one lasts longer than the moist one. And also, it's just crunchy. So if you like crunchy stuff, I think this is for you. And yeah, when you're traveling, you can keep it with you for a long time, unlike the moist one. Okay, so yeah, and also you can actually have it like a snack when you're at home chilling and all that. It's not so, so bad though, but then I, I just prefer the moist cake. So yeah, let me know which one you prefer, but this video is for those who like the dry cake, okay? It's not so bad. It's just like biscuits. Yeah, it's just like biscuit. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. <laughs> So our cake is ready. Just look at how beautiful it is looking. Ha! Ah, so moist. Me, I still can't understand why some people will prefer dry cake to this one. I still can't phantom it. <laughs> It's even a lot of work like when your cake is ready you have to wait for it to cool down before you put it back in the oven again to get that texture you're looking for that hard or dry texture you're looking for that's why me i always say moist cake all day <laughs> Pretty resist this moist and delicious cake, okay? So I'm not going to harden all of them. I'm leaving some for myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to leave it in the oven for, let's say, about 10 to 15 minutes just to make it a bit brown and a bit harder than it is now. So yeah, basically that's it. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Very crunchy and flaky. Yes, yeah, so... We've come to the end of the video. Guys, don't get me wrong, it's really tasty, okay? Even though I love it, but I will still prefer the moist over this one. But it is really, really delicious. So yeah, you can try it and let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.